Computer hardware consists of internal hardware devices which make up the main computer system. Computer hardware can also be external hardware devices which are mostly input or output devices as well as external storage mediums. External hardware devices which connect to the main computer system are also known as peripherals. The following are the main internal components of a computer system and no matter what type of computer it is they generally all work the same way using the same components. The motherboard is the printed circuit board that allows hardware to be connected to the computer system, so it acts as a sort of hub that other devices connect to. These devices can be internal or external hardware devices. The motherboard uses many different slots to connect these devices together. RAM, which stands for Random Access Memory is also a main component of a computer system. RAM loads up the operating system, the applications you are using and any files that you are working on, hence it is also known as working memory. The more RAM that you have the more applications and files you can have open at the same time. RAM is also temporary storage as data is not held in RAM permanently. RAM is volatile, which means that it requires an electrical current to work and if the electricity supply is interrupted the data held in RAM disappears. ROM means read-only memory and these are computer chips which have computer programs permanently installed on them. ROM chips can be found on all devices as they contain the code that controls that piece of hardware. ROM chips are often referred to as non-volatile memory since the memory is permanent and does not lose content if there is no electrical current. Video cards, also known as graphics cards are another internal computer component which allow us to display information to a monitor, projector, or television. Video cards consist of a processor, also known as a GPU, or graphical processing unit, a small amount of RAM, a cooling mechanism such as a fan or a heat sink since video cards can produce a lot of heat and also the connections to allow it to interface with a display unit. Sound cards are also integrated circuit boards which have the ability to produce sound which can be heard by the user using either speakers or headphones. Sound cards also allow the user to record sound using a microphone and to also manipulate sound stored on a disc. Sound cards translate digital data into an analog signal needed for speakers using either FM synthesis or wavetable synthesis. FM synthesis mimics different musical instruments using built-in formulas whereas wavetable synthesis relies on the recordings from the actual instruments to create sound. No computer is going to be of use unless we have somewhere to store our data and therefore our computer system requires a device to save to. Computers generally use either a hard disk drive to store data, or a solid state drive. The latter is often found in more modern computers and in all tablet computers. Finally we have the CPU, central processing unit which is the brain of the computer system and allows the computer to perform mathematical calculations as well as logic decisions. In essence all computer systems consist of seven these items, the motherboard, RAM, ROM, video and sound cards, the CPU and either a HDD or SSD to function correctly.